ice should be ferocious as it always is in the American Hockey League here. Two teams looking stark for a win, and we are set to go. The Wranglers start things off on the right note by winning the opening draw. A little crash and banging forces the turnover. Easy pad save made by Belota. Ref blows the whistle as the puck's covered up. Lots of time left in this period. We're still scoreless. Puck is dropped and he wins the draw here in the defensive zone. The Roadrunners have it against the wall. The Wranglers gain possession of the puck here in the offensive end. Let's it go! Shot down by the blocker. Hammers one! And the traffic jam in front blocks the shot. Stays covered up. The Wranglers will go to work here in the offensive zone. Sacrifices the body. Oh, love the defensive stick work there to poke that one away. Here's a centering pass. And that's stopped. Tucson's gained possession along the boards. Kicked up ahead to his teammate who skates away. The Roadrunners carry it along the wall. On oh, a good textbook hit there. Calgary's got a hold of the puck. Takes the feed. Puts it on net. There's a great save on an excellent chance there. And a poke check knocks the puck away. Battle along the boards. Slick feed. We got a whistle. Penalty coming up. The Roadrunners will serve two for slashing. The Wranglers will have a chance to get on the power play for the first time this evening. An opportunity here to go up by one on the power play. You know they've worked on this in practice. It's something you do, your repetition. This is what prepares you to be big in these moments. Clearing attempt. And the puck is cleared. Well, you can see the entire PK unit. Their heads are on the swivel, straight line skating, and they're able to get that puck. And because they're looking and aware, they're able to find the white ice and get it 200 feet down. From the left side, it moves to the middle of the ice. And that's knocked away by Anya Mucci. Big time! A timely save is everything to your team, and this goaltender, he bails his team out. Anya Bucci's moving the puck through his own zone, and they send it down the ice. Tries to get it over to Poirier. Pokes it away in his own end. Hangs on to the puck after taking a hit, and they get the puck out of the danger zone. The Wranglers squander a golden opportunity to take the lead here. And even when you're on a power play, you have more time and space, but you have to have urgency, and there is none on that PP sequence. This group has to figure out a way to generate. You can really sense the nervous energy here from the home fans here with this pressure. And there's the whistle as the goaltender will give his team a much-needed rest. Inching closer to the midway mark of the period. Still no score in this one. Offense his own face off and he wins the draw. Tries to the crease. Oh, the save of the play. Wow. He's doing absolutely everything he can to keep his team in this game, James. Unbelievable save. Puck battle along the boards. Passes ahead from the right side. Quick pass to Dome. Just gets enough to keep it out. Both teams readying here for the face-off. 
Jones wins the draw on their own end. The Wranglers play it along the boards. Puck is grabbed here inside the offensive end by Bishop. Bolalta's got the puck and he's gonna hang on. Tucson's taking possession in their own end. Drew's got the puck in his own zone. Taken along the wall by Schwinn. Calgary's looking to break out. Fires it into the offensive zone. Here's a short pass to Kirkland. The Roadrunners take it along the wall. Nice stick work to knock the puck loose. Kirkland's got it now deep inside his own end. Oh, what a paddle save on the play! Well past the midway mark of this period, the game is still scoreless. Nice job tying up his opponent. Slides it diagonally to Lyle. Takes a shot. Oh, he didn't get all of it, but just enough to keep it out of the net. Across the line from center. Great defensive effort with the stick. From the right side, takes the pass. Tucson's got control of it now from their own end. Camper's going to play against the half wall. Oh, the competitors say just when you think that he's completely out of it James he comes across with a desperation save to keep his team alive as we look at that last save again James it is absolutely incredible and so impressive to see a goaltender just out battle and out will his opponent to find the puck centers glide into the dot as a face off ready to resume play Calgary's won the face off deep in their own end there's the whistle. Let's see what the referee saw. He's going to get the slashing call, and the officials are really trying to crack down on these types of plays because they can be dangerous. He's going to get the two-minute minor. Calgary's power play unit puts their hard hats on as they go back to work. They haven't scored yet in the game on the power play, but no need to get frustrated. They all bring a different skill set. It's the reason why they're out there. And they get the puck out of harm's way. The Wranglers gain possession. Calgary's got the puck. Knocks him. Takes the feed at the court. And he gets just enough of it to keep it out of the back of the net. The Wranglers have it now. Trying to gain a step. Oh, he's in. Oh, the rise of the play. Uh, and this is a great play by the tender to anticipate and get across to make that save. And he slides it quickly to Sutter. Moves the puck into the attacking area. Ten more seconds. Smith almost out of the box. He scores. And they convert with the man advantage. This is a great power play goal, James. They have the execution in terms of their passing along the outside, and then they attack the net with a shot. You have to have net front presence and create a screen. That's exactly what they have, and they capitalize as a result. Calgary's finding another level here in the back half of the first, now up by one. Well, they're playing their brand of hockey, aren't they, James? I mean, they've been so competitive, and it would look like this is a pretty tight game, but it's not when you look at the shot selection and the shot share. They have just dominated in terms of having the majority of shots on net. Comes up with the stop. Gets control of the puck here in his own end. Moves it quickly over to Karens. Calgary's crossed the line and on the attack. Puck grab by Jennick. And he's tripped up on the play. Referee's hand goes up here. Let's get the official decision. Well, it's kind of hard to protect a one-goal lead when you're sitting in the box and your team's short-handed, James. The PK unit's going to have to find a way to stave off the power play here and get the job done. Power play unit comes out for the faceoff. Well, they earn this a power play, James, through hard work, and it's an opportunity 
even the score here. They need to find a way to execute and get back to the even score. The Roadrunners have it in the offensive zone. Pushes it across to Jennick. Here's a great use of the stick right there to poke it away. Puck moved back to center, forcing them to regroup. Tucson's trying to make something happen in the offensive zone. Made that stop. The center feed! And he denies that great opportunity there. Swatted away with the stick in the defensive zone. Takes the puck as the clock ticks down on the penalty kill. Puck cleared from the defensive end. McCartney's got it in the offensive zone. Moves it to Camper. Shot! Close save! Goaltender covers it up and we'll get a reset here. Late goings of this period. 1-0 is where we sit at this point. The Roadrunners take possession here inside the offensive zone. And the PK unit gets their man out of the box. The next shift is critical, James. They had the opportunity on the power play to get back in it and get the equalizer. Now they're down by one, so they have to manage some energy here, and they have to dictate pace and get back in the game. The Roadrunners send their man advantage here, and what's more? They haven't scored on the power play yet, but they have another opportunity. The key to this one, gain possession so they can set up. An attempt to clear the puck from deep inside his own end. Slides it over with pace to McCartney. Retrieves the puck, trying to kickstart this power play. Gains the zone on the left wing. Great coach check on the reach. Puck cleared from the defensive end. Sends it quickly to Doan. McCartney's lugging the puck. What a steal in his own end. Tries to clear the puck. And that's one way to help kill off this penalty as they get the puck out, Cheryl. Well, when you're on the PK unit, you have to be able to anticipate. They do just that. They score! Putting it home on the power play, and we have even things up here tonight. Right from the beginning of that power play, James, there just was a confidence about them. The way they own the puck, the precision in the movements, the motion in the offensive zone, and they cash in to tie this game. For an effective power play, you have to move the puck around with precision, and you have to create some motion to open up lanes. That's exactly what happens here. They're able to get the puck to the middle of the ice, and that's how they get the goal. Centers get set as they're ready to drop the puck again. Calgary's got possession of the puck after that neutral zone faceoff. Takes a shot. Fantastic save. The goaltenders are the last line of defense for a reason. This time, he bails his team out. The Roadrunners gain control of the puck. Passes over to McGregor. With possession along the wall. Can't keep a hold of the puck after that play. Sutter stick handling in his own zone. Quick feed to Gallant. Oh, what a stick save! This is a fantastic save, James. He's all over it. What I mean by that is he knows exactly where it is and where it's moving. A reason why he can get square to it and make the save. First period is in the books. The next 20 minutes is on deck next here on EA Sports. Looking for a way to show love for your team? Don't forget, Team Hat Giveaway Night is right around the corner. The first 3,000 fans in the arena will pick up an official Team Hat. Both teams back on the ice are lined up, and period number two is about ready to go. Neither side giving up much in the opening frame, and here we go, still tied up in the second. Well, Cheryl, over to the third of this one played. What do you make of this one? Peralta has been so impressive tonight. Complete. He's in all alone, and that's broken up. Well, he thought he had a lot of time there, but the defender makes a great play, works hard to get back to position, and takes away the shot. The Wranglers move it ahead. Long reach breaks up the momentum. Gets the puck in deep. The Wranglers gain control of the puck against the wall. With some open space at center. And that's stolen by Sutter. The Wranglers have it in the offensive end. 
And skilled use of the stick to poke the puck away. Quick pass to McCartney. Gains the zone from the right side. McCartney's going to play it to the corner. Good on, Zim! Well, he makes an incredible save on a point blank shot here, James. I love the way he's aggressive, he's competitive, and he wins the battle. Lots of time left in this period. It's all tied up. And off the draw, they win possession. Tosses it on to Karens. Here they come on the attack down the left side. Denied by the goaltender. Tucson's got it in their own zone. Nice poke check. Moves the puck. Here's a chance. Oh, denies him with the paddle save. Here he is in close. Oh, and another big stop. You can certainly tell that the goaltender is dialed in on that last sequence of saves, James. He's to position, so he finds a way to make multiple saves back to back. Here's a short pass to McGregor. How did he stop that one? Well, this is an incredible save, James. It's anticipation as well. Recognize that the shooter is in the low slot, getting in front of it and making the save. Moves the pass in front, and he shuts down a great scoring chance there. Puck ready to drop here any moment to get things underway again. And they win the defensive zone faceoff. Takes the pass. Shot. Glove save, and the puck moves on. Moves it quickly over to Smith. Makes his presence known on the ice. Here they come on the attack down the right side. Quick feed down low. And he takes the pass. Tremendous stop by Golota. Nearing the midway mark of the period. We are all tied up in this one. Calgary's won the faceoff. Center feed! Oh, and he comes up with a stop. Moves it to McCartney. Jennings gaining momentum. Looking to set up offensively. Here's a shot. Takes a shot. Glove save there. He read that perfectly. And gets a little boost to come up with the puck from off the wing with both centers tied up. Wolf's going to hang on for a whistle. The Roadrunners win the draw. Pissick's taking it from his own end. Oh, excellent use of the stick as he knocks that one away. Huge steal in his own end. Along the right wing, they enter the attacking area. Quick shot! Oh, he somehow got a little piece of it, and it stays out of the net. Right up the gut into the attacking zone. Tucson's got it along the wall. And that goes off, pours off a body. And he keeps possession. Here they come. Down the left side on the attack. Goaltender covers up and will get a face off. Some last second communication before both teams get ready to drop the puck here. The Roadrunners win the draw here at their own end. Great blocker stop by Golota. Smith's got it in the defensive end. Looking to make something happen along the boards. And he slides it quickly to Karens. And that's intercepted by Smith. Does it again with the stop. And they'll cover it up, forcing a stoppage in play. We haven't even hit the midway mark of the period. The next goal could be a big one as we are tied. 
Good job tangling up his opponent here. Calgary's moving it into the offensive end. Here's a chance! Oh, what a stop with the paddle! We got a whistle as the puck's frozen. Past the midway mark in this period. We got a tie game. Karens has won the draw. They'll go to work offensively. Oh, and serves up a little too sweet with that save. Well, this save was way more difficult than it looked, James. I mean, there's so much traffic in front that he's fighting through to see, and he finds the puck to make the save. Goaltender covers it up. We get a whistle to slow things down. They take possession as he locks them up off the faceoff. From the point, they take control of it. The Wranglers have a hold of it in the defensive zone. Here's the chance to set up now. Poked away in the defensive end. From the right side, moves it up ahead. And that's poked away by Kuznetsov. Finds some space in the corner. Takes a shot. been tripped up and we got a penalty coming up here takes the feed picks up the puck in his own end let's see what the official makes for the final decision the roadrunners are going to be shorthanded tripping the call success on the power play I think they'll operate in the same fashion James and that 1-3-1 setup where they look to work through the flanks because you know they've got some lethal shooters on this team here inside the defensive zone they get the puck and they clear that puck inside the offensive zone quick feed to Pesic lets it fly and that banks off a stick and it goes off a stick we got a stoppage as the puck sails over the glass. Karens is at the face-off dot and will try to win the draw as we are about to resume this power play. The Roadrunners come up with the defensive zone draw. Calgary's got possession here in the offensive zone. The Wranglers have it now. Poirier's into the offensive zone now on the attack. Tucson's penalty kill is going to hold it. Trying to come up with a huge defensive play to get this puck out of his own end. Here's a chance to make something happen inside the neutral zone. And that'll make the highlight reels with that close stop. Here's a chance in front. Another pass. Takes a shot. Oh, much respect as he blocks that one. There are so through center they go on the attack takes a shot big time stop back to the blue line handles the pass right on the doorstep what pressure here in the offensive end there's a hit on the play and that's out of reach and out of the offensive zone great use of the body to knock him off the puck just a little too much contact and couldn't hang on to the puck from the point, looks to make something happen. And that goes wide! Sometimes players get into those scoring areas, they try and get a little too cute, and that's a result right there, not hitting the net. Oh, what a hit against the boards! Executed perfectly, James. I mean, he can't maneuver, he's got nowhere to go, he's lined up, and then he's taken down. Gains the zone through center. Good reach of the stick to knock the puck away. Calgary's got it in their own zone. Down the left wing, across into the offensive end. Tries to the sweet spot. Oh, a stick save and a puke. Galalta has been so consistent throughout tonight's game, and I mean, he's made timely saves as well. A lot of shots that he's faced, and his save percentage is an indicator of it. Handles the puck. 
And that carries off a body in traffic. Calgary's across the blue line. And a big time save on a big time shot. Tucson's got the puck in the defensive end. Handles the pass up to the middle of the ice. Receives the pass. And that goes up. Scores! The go-ahead goal puts them in front. Well, and this has been trending to happen, James. They've been closing on the puck quickly since an upward trajectory as this game will regress and they find the back of the net. Well, good things happen when you put the puck to the net and this rebound comes right back out to him. But he's tracking, he's sniffing, he's hounding, and he finds the back of the net on his second shot. Tucson's got up by one here late in period number two. Well, there's not much difference in this game, James. That's why every goal matters, and they get the go-ahead heading into the intermission. If they can hold on to this, they're going to start the third period with a sense of urgency trying to hold that lead. Well, there you go. Two periods down, one more to go, at least for now, right? Third period just around the corner. so far. Calgary's up against a hot goaltender, James, and you know when the goaltender's feeling it, you're going to have to get them moving laterally, and so they're going to have to find a way to go east-west and know exactly when to fire that puck. Well, they have the lead, and now they've taken a penalty, so now they're going to be back on their heels. That power play's going to come out. You know they're going to be smelling and tasting blood, James. The PK unit, they got to be the task. The Wranglers once again send out their power play unit. Power plays are a funny thing, especially when you're down by one, James. You have to act as if you are the hunter, and you have to possess that puck and attack. Quick pass to Poirier. Here he is in front. Oh, he got all of that. What a save by Malota. The Roadrunners will try to shave a few seconds off this penalty now. Calgary's got the puck along the wall. Tucson's got it now. Great forecheck by McGregor. Here in the corner, he grabs the puck. Here's a short pass to Drew. Shot! Makes the stop with the blocker. Picked up along the boards by Drew. Now a quick pass to McGregor. And a nice takeaway in the defensive end by Karen. McCartney standing up, ready to go. On the heels of their blades, trying to get it out. Poked away in the neutral zone. Passes it over to Poirier. What a hit, and that'll wear down the opposition. The Roadrunners cross the line and gain the zone. That's blocked by Wolf. Still plenty of time left in this frame. It's a 2-1 hockey game. McGregor's won the faceoff, and now let's see what they can do. Here's a shot, and there's the save. Gets it over to Sutter. And now he moves it quickly to Poirier. Calgary's in on the offensive attack now. Good use of the body on the play. The Roadrunners move the puck in the defensive zone. Calgary's looking to break out of their own end. Lays the body into that play. Moves it quickly over to Bissett. Oh, what a stop as he uses his paddle to sweat him away. This is a really nice save, James. I mean, the shooter's in the middle of the ice. He's in the slot area. And he's got to get to the top of the free square to the puck to be able to make that save. Great job. Quick feed to Jones. Right up Main Street and on the attack. Close save, somehow got a piece of it. Works it across to Lyle. And they continue to fight for that puck along the wall. And a stick in the lane ends that threat. Moved up ahead after a nice pass from the right wing. 
Moves it to McCartney. Carries the puck through the neutral zone. Along the right wall and into the offensive end. Feeds it down low. Sends a pass over. Left save by the goalie. Puck is frozen and will get a face off. Inching closer to the midway mark of this period. It's a 2-1 game. Calgary's got it and they're on the attack. Made the stop on that play. And we'll get the whistle after the goaltender hangs on. The Wranglers need to find a way to break on through here. They've had plenty of shots on net, but they've got to convert here in order to even things up. Play resumes as they win the draw here inside the offensive zone. And he takes the dish. Blocked in traffic. Bumped out the puck. And he blocks a shot. Great defensive play. Hammers it on net. Stopped by the goaltender getting a piece of that one. Tremendous intensity here in the offensive zone. And they'll skate it out of the zone. Puck exits the zone. Wiles got it into offensive territory. Here's a pass in front. He scores! What a goal! Oh, James, we have to have another look at this goal. I mean, this is just a hard-working effort goal where you out-battle and out-will your opponent. Why? You're stumbling, and while you're stumbling, your eye's still on the puck. You know exactly where you need to move it before you go down, and you execute. And as a result, it's in the back of the net. The Wranglers have got to keep pressing here, Cheryl. After getting that equalizer, they've got to feel that buzz right now. Yeah, they'll want to build on top of that goal and really just continue to do what they've been doing all game, and that's possess the puck. You've been waiting for this to happen because they've been all around it. It finally did. What a great read breaking up the pass. Textbook post check by Onyabuchi. The Roadrunners play along the boards. Takes the pass as he banks it off the wall. And he takes the feed. Taken by Leonard. Slides the puck over. Off the left wing and into center. Scrum along the boards. Tucson's got a hold of the puck now. Get out of there. And he passes it up ahead to Hebig. Great defensive play to come up with the puck. Sends the pass down low. Quick shot! Continues. Can you feel the love tonight? Let's stop. Go ahead, go. Puts them in front. Well, now they're in front, James, so they'll have some energy. You know that their first few strides will be more urgent, but they'll have to be accountable on the other side of the puck as well. Oh, how many times does this happen in a game, James? I mean, you get a golden opportunity at one end. Everyone's pressing forward. The quick counterattack and transition gets going the other way, and then it capitalizes. That's a great one for one team, and it's a tough one to take for the other. Tucson's got to be feeling confident right now with the time remaining, Cheryl. Up one with that kind of time remaining. You know you got the game in your hands, but you have to be able to close it out. You know how you do that? You find a way to get the puck, and you have to manage it. Fires it on net, and he comes up big with the stick save, getting all of it with the paddle. A player should never be left alone in the slot, but man, is the goaltender to task here. Gets out in front of it and makes the save. More than half the period has gone by. Hope you're enjoying this one. The Roadrunners have taken the lead here over the last few minutes. They'd love to build on it. Bolalta's got the puck, and he's going to slow things down. Well, he's slowing things down because his team has been under siege, James. It's the third period. It's a tight game, and he elects to get the whistle. I like this decision. It's the right one. Now everyone can get a rest, and coach can get the right personnel out there. They win the faceoff here in their own end and take possession. Sends the pass over. Quick feed to Camper. There's the whistle as the puck goes out of play. The Wranglers have the advantage in shots tonight, but they still find themselves trailing here in the third period. Calgary's got possession here in their own end. Into the offensive zone down the right wing. Oh, a clutch save! 
Golovka has made himself look big on that save and almost made it look easy. That's a high shooting percentage shot because it's coming from a great A scoring area. I've really enjoyed this game tonight, James. It's been tight, it's been fast paced, defensively structured, and you never know which way it's going to end. Trying to get back on the attack now. And it's a quick pass to Gallant. Calgary's got it in the offensive zone. And that goes off the player. Denied for Golota. Now the shooter's going to run out of. Oh, spectacular save right there. Wow. Unbelievable. I mean, it was all about him, and he steals it because of that last ditch attempt to find the puck. Just incredible save, James. Play blown dead. Let's get the call. Well, when you're looking for a goal, being shorthanded is not ideal. You're also killing valuable time where you can be pressing in your PK. Tucson's power play unit puts their hard hats on as they go back to work. Well, they've already scored tonight on the PP, James, and looking to really thread the needle again on this one. Their movement, their adjustments have been excellent thus far. And he uses his reach to disrupt the play. Sends it to the middle. Takes the feed. Scores! There it is on the power play. The power play has been really efficient tonight, James, and they're really gaining momentum off of it. And often when you're drawing this many penalties, teams start to play different against you. That's what you call taking advantage of a fortuitous rebound, and you have to be able to smell it and sniff it out because he has great hand-eye coordination to be able to pick that one up and put it in the back of the net. Tucson's got to feel pretty good about where they're at now here in this third period, Cheryl. I like their game, this entire game, James. Right from the puck drop, they've been aggressive on the puck, and they can't change it now. They just got to continue to finish the way they started. Now into the offensive zone from the right side. The Roadrunners will play it against the boards. Calgary's got a hold of the puck. Hammers them into the boards. From center, they get into the attacking area. Takes the feed. And the goaltender comes up with a piece of it to keep it out of the net. I really like this save, James, because he challenges the shooter who's all alone in the slot area. He turns aside a real dangerous opportunity. Can't stay on his feet after that hit. The Roadrunners have it against the wall. Quick pass to McGregor. On the attack along the boards. Here's a chance! He fought for position to find this puck on his backhand, James. He's running out of real estate, but he was able to put it through and find the netting. The Roadrunners continue to bring up the score here in period number three. Well, it's just been a terrific collective effort. Now they're on the home stretch, and the coaching staff has a real opportunity to utilize their bench, rest their star players, and this is critical when you're in a long season. The Wranglers will play it from the defensive zone. Grabs the puck at center. Oh, look at this. Here they come. They've got numbers. Oh, he stopped it. What a save on the play. And there's nothing technical about that. That is all about the will to find a way to make that save incredible, James. The Wranglers will play it in their own end. Slick feed. Tucson's got control of it now from their own end. Smith's got the puck along the wing. Nearing the final minute of the third. And the puck's booted away. Calgary's looking to break out. Oh, look at this chance! And that's blocked. And he slides it quickly to Poirier. Oh, and he stops that one that was served up with a whole lot of spice. Here in the later stages of this period, the Roadrunners have taken control of this one, now leading by three. Smith won the draw here in their own zone. Here's a short pass to Drew. Poked away at center ice. From the right wing, he moves it to the middle. And the fans on their feet recognizing a solid. Victory here in front of them. Moves it quickly over 
to Smith. And that'll do it for ringside here. The Roadrunners were outshot tonight here, Cheryl, but you know what? Didn't really matter at the final score. Yeah, look at the scoreboard. They had the ability to disguise their shot and fool the goaltender, and that's something they did really well tonight. Well, that'll do it for all of us here at EA Sports. I'm James Sabalski, and we will see you next time from ringside.